Welcome to the Leadership TKO Podcast, your source of strategies and insight to make you a winning leader. With no further ado, here is your host, Lakeisha McKnight. All right, everybody. Hello, hello, and welcome to each and every one of you. Lakeisha McKnight is here. For those of you who are here on the podcast platform, it's the Leadership TKO Night Show via podcast, and I welcome you to being here on the platform. And then we have a few others who are here on the video conference version. They're here on the webinar. This is a special episode on tonight, a special event. We're combining Uh, our web platform with our podcasting platform right now. And I'm super excited and elated to be here on this great evening. It is, of course, Thursday, September 28th, 2017, about 9.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, with the iLead company, uh, we have a brand that's the Leadership TKO brand, where TKO stands for Truths That Have Kept the Overcomer. And we truly believe That in all settings, that means in the home setting, as well as in the corporate world, and in the entrepreneurial space, we believe that there are some principles that that really are common across the board, uh, that really helps us to become strong leaders. And this is what we emphasize within the iLead company. Now, the iLead company is the company that houses the brand Leadership TKO. And therefore, underneath that, we also had the Leadership TKO uh, radio station as well as something special that we're launching on tonight, right? And that is our fall 2017 issue of Leadership TKO magazine. And, and just want to let you know that even with the podcast, We have a special layout that we follow. Uh, On Thursdays, we also focus in on helping speakers to really leverage their voice, to really grow their influence, their impact, and their income. So we're going to definitely hone in on and focus in on speaking and really helping those of you who are speakers to grow in that endeavor while also combining this special launch of the fall 2017 issue of Leadership TKO Magazine. So again, I am super excited to be here on tonight, and we do encourage you to always visit our website to learn more about what we have going on. And that website is www.leadershiptko.com. So again, thank you so much, each and every one of you. We know that there are many of you from around the world that listen in uh, to the podcast and that are really connected to the entire brand. We have people from Italy, those of you from Croatia, many of you from France and South Africa. We thank you so much for being connected. Some of you from Ghana. I mean, there are some of you even from the United Kingdom. Thank you so very much. And I know I may be missing some countries out there because there are quite a few that are even connected to the magazine by itself. But we appreciate each and every one of you for just being connected and wanting to become a winning leader because that's what we do. Okay, that is exactly what we do, a part of Leadership TKO. And that is we build winning leaders. And we do this by way of several services and products that we offer. But our mission at hand, our mission is to partner up with associations, universities, small businesses or entrepreneurs, and faith-based groups to build winning leaders. That's what we do. And so if you really want to win in this season, you are in the right place at the right time. And so I want to welcome you here onto the platform. Now, of course, we have some special things going on. We're going to be doing several things on tonight, right? Uh, again, just letting you know, since we do focus in on pro speaking on Thursdays, we are going to share some nuggets here and there while we're here on this platform, while at the same time, our focus is going to be on the releasing of the fall 2017 issue of Leadership TKO magazine. So, Uh, What I am going to be doing, we're going to be welcoming a few people on the platform in just a few moments. But before I dive in, I want to share with you a little bit of background. Hopefully I'm able to do that with you. Can I do that? (laughs) Hopefully I can. Right now with the fall 2017 issue, I do want to tell you that our theme is helping leaders fall in love 
with serving. One of the hallmarks of leadership is serving. It really is. To be a leader, you really have to serve and have a passion and a heart for serving. And, and that's our theme. And we have a group of special professionals that decided to write and be a part of the project, many of which may be watching tonight or listening by way of podcast. And I just want to share with you, before we talk about our cover feature for this issue, I want to share with you some of the different topics by way of the articles that were written by some of our columnists, okay? Some of our writers and first-time writers and authors within this magazine. So we have a special title or at least a message in reference to It's Your DNA, right? Tamika Johnson, uh, she really honed in on this topic very, very well. Uh, We also have a special guest writer, first-time author, uh, who really (laughs) wanted to dive in and make an impact on the lives of many of you who read the Leadership TKO magazine. And that is, of course, Rika Wright. She wrote a special feature, a special article within this magazine entitled The Parable of the Cell Phone. And so you want to make sure that you grab a hold of that and read that message. We're going to give you a little bit of a snippet, and it's going to be featured on the Global Blog So we're going to share with you that link at the very end of our episode tonight. Uh, Now, of course, the snippet should be up there before tonight is out. We want to let you know that we had some small delays because we had to go back and edit a few things uh, with the magazine. But it's here and it's ready. Okay, it's here and it's ready. I will tell you also that we have other special features such as Regina Mixon. She's one of our columnists within the magazine. Also, she wrote a special piece called, Are You a Servant Leader? Are you a servant leader? Which is really critical to leadership itself. Again, going back to that foundation of serving and sowing value into the lives of people. Uh, We also have a special feature by Solange Sanchez. She's in the travel industry. She wrote a special piece called Finding Your Purpose in Travel. So she motivates some of you who really want to consider entering into the travel industry uh, to consider how it can help you to go forward as a strong entrepreneur, as a strong leader. And uh, we do also have another piece. I'm not going to go through all the different pieces that we have, but there's another piece uh, that was written and it's entitled Speak Up for a Change. Speak Up for a Change. Uh, And this particular piece is special. And the reason why I'm saying this is because it was written by our feature leader. Okay, our feature leader in this issue. And I'm going to be definitely welcoming her on. She's probably just going to be on by way of audio, it looks like. Uh, It may not be by way of video as I'm looking at it right now. Okay? And so we want to see if we can get her on the platform now and greet each and every one of you. And I'm just going to ask her a couple of Mm -hmm. questions about her piece, about her journey. uh, And she's going to share her insights as well. Uh, So the special feature for this fall 2017 issue uh, of the magazine is Sandra Sakbanu. So Sandra, feel free, of course, to hit star six to unmute your line, and then you'll be able to greet those who are listening. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. How are you? Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good I'm evening. Fine. How are you? Good, good, good. So share with those who are listening right now uh, about what motivated you to write the piece on Speak Up for Change. Um, okay, let me say good evening, everyone, again. My name is Sandra mm-hmm. Ajoavi Takuno. I'm from West Africa, Togo. I left my country in 2001 and joined my husband, who is serving in the military. And I'll say I've been living in Virginia Beach. I came to uh, the state side and moved back to Italy in 2005. Then we moved back in 2007, and we were in station in Virginia Beach here since 2007. But the reason uh, 
what pushed me to uh, to do all this today is like being a victim of domestic abuse. I've never thought I could have a I could have have a change or a power to make a change to speak up or to stand up to make a change today. And um, it's a lot going on. But I just want everyone, no matter what you are going. No matter what is going on in your life, just find ways to speak up, to seek for help. And someone out there will listen to you and will direct you to make a change. Please do it. And today, I'm so happy. And it's like a relief for me. Speak up for a change is self-healing, is self-liberation, is self-empowerment. And that's what I see in the change that is coming and how I'm going to empower more women coming and children out there. So, Sandra, how how are you empowering women today? What are some of the things that you're working on and some of the things that you're doing? Uh, what I'm doing today is I work out a lot. That's a part of my empowerment, how I make it through all the difficulties time. And I'm a foot writer through my going through. I'm not a big talker, but what I do is I write a lot. And I speak with my difficulty. I speak to writing. And I'm working on my book now, soon to be released, so that more out there to to read my stories and make a change as well. Wonderful, wonderful. And I know that a piece of that also is that you seek to empower the youth. Uh, so in what ways are you seeking to work on that particular area to empower the young people? To empower the young people, um, I, be, I came from a, a different background. And I'm not going to say a lot today, but a lot of my going through is going to be on my book but how I'm going to start at age of 15 things happened in my life 25 years ago and I didn't even have anyone out there to speak up to stand up to believe in me and I know a lot of girls out there going through the same thing I thought that from that 15 years old I was a survivor I was fighting for my life to make it through with a baby in my hand how can I do this? How can I make it? Who can listen to me? And who can help me for my voice? Because no one out there to believe. And I'm like, okay, my life will not stay, uh, stop here. And I start going back to school with the baby in my hand. I came back from school. I breastfeed that baby. till so she turned two years old. Can you speak a and little closer, both, a little closer to the phone? I think it's going in and out just a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, both of us start going to school at age of two. She start going to school. And I said, okay, if I can do it when she was little, till two years old, why can't why I continue till today? That's what happened. So I would like to tell all the young youth out there that whatever they have going on today, pregnancy, whatever it is, they have to keep focusing, keep moving, keep looking for ways to to break it. Don't stop. Keep going. If I can do it at age of 15, they can do it too. And special, I listen to people a lot. I respect people. But whatever anyone brings out, I always listen and take something out of it. Always listen. Always respect that you have to know who you are and you have to know what you're looking for. Not for today, but for your future to come. That's good. That's good. And hopefully everyone that you're, you're being able to hear her clearly, but she definitely has a story, a huge story to tell. She says that she's working on a book um, that's soon to be released. And I, I believe more details uh, about her background, her growing up, her rearing as far as raising uh, a young child and really trying to carry out her purpose She's going to share a lot about that in her book as well. So you definitely don't want to uh, miss that book once it is released. And so what, what would be one 
or two nuggets, uh, Sandra, that you can share with those who are listening right now or maybe watching uh, that may be going through some type of domestic abuse or something related to that? What is it that you would want to say to them? Uh, what I would like to say to all people, it doesn't matter, women, men, children going through that. I was going through my, let's, I'm, I've been married for 17. I've never have, had a time for myself. I thought that pleasing them would be a way for me to stay in my marriage. Because one half, once I had one, and the second one is, already trouble. I'm like, how, how can I do it? i never been myself. To tell you today, i never been who I was. Because I always pleased him and his family, but it was never enough until four years ago. Thank God, maybe sent him out of the town and I was here alone. That helps me to, find, to, to know who I am. And I start loving myself even though I heard so many times that I'm ugly, I'm not good enough for this society, there is no, no one out there who can talk to me because I'm a mother of five. My life was tough. But I said, no. The moment I realized, because I had customers who believe who are pastors, and when they come, sometimes I let it out, crying. And then the some of them, I can say their names. I know they are online. Angela, uh, Hagen, Capri Lemar, Darwin. It's a lot of them. If I didn't tell anyone, I'm sorry. But it's a lot of my customers that say, Sandra, you are an intelligent woman. You can do it. Then I say, really, how can I start it? Until Angela Hagen told me, you can start writing your story. That's how I start writing everything, every morning. And I start going to the gym. The gym has a lot. I live a box. When I'm boxing, it's like I'm fighting with enemies. Right now, things are not good. Still going to uh, the divorce. is nasty and things. But it's okay. Everything was taken away from me, money, cars, everything. But I said money is not my issue now. I just want peace of mind. Peace of mind that will help me keep going and look for what and see what I'm looking for. Until I find women of elevation as well as going to lead. Those women women embrace me with love. With what I never see coming. With I don't know, a change that I never, I always dreamed of, that they was there, and they opened my head and said, Sandra, you can do it. I'm so if you are there listening, it's not just for any reason we kept posting every day that come to leave, logging and listen or join the women and see. Today I'm able, I'm not from this country, English is not my first language, all I've known is French. And my dialect said, today, I'm writing my own story in English. It's a, a huge change. And people that I came from the same country with, they are so proud. Some <coughs> of them are so they cannot tell you. Mm-hmm. But what I'm going to tell you today is you. Never let anyone to, to let you down. I've been there and I've accepted everything. If they say sleep on the floor, I do that. In my own home, living room was my room, and I accepted because I said my life will not stop in the living room. I'm telling you, with my bubble in my chest every day, crying, that today I'm not crying anymore. I'm just looking for ways to heal myself, and I'm healing, and I'm going to thank all the women of elevation, especially you, Leticia. You, even at 12 o'clock. I always say, she's like, oh, thank God. Let's talk. And she's always there for me. Miss Remy, she's my sister from Africa. And she's always calling, texting to check on me and the children. All of them, Janine, Mika was here this evening just to check on me. So how great, it's so great to be around people that love you. Look for someone. Join this Don't Really 
Well, thank you so much, Sandra. If people if people wanted to really reach out to you, Sandra, and learn more, uh, and just be connected to to really fight through their circumstances that they're facing right now, how would they be able to get in contact with you? I have uh, two Instagram and two Facebook. One for my uh, the Sandra motivational coaching and um, the. Uh, Instagram is Sandra Motivational. Oh, Sandra. That I can even Sandra something. Uh, you know what? Just hit me on Sandra Motivational Coaching. I have a on my head. Or okay. uh, you can email me at s s a k p o n o u at hotmail dot com, and mm-hmm. I'll I'll be glad. And my number is seven five seven three seven two. All right. Well, we'll definitely get some get that contact information in and try to include that contact information inside of the description area of the podcast. That way, people will be able to reach out to you uh, from there. And then, of course, Sandra is going to be on the website, and she should be there right now. If I was to head on over there right now, she should be uh, on the website. We should be good. Okay, with setting all that stuff up because we were making some changes uh, in some shifts to some of the things that we were doing, making sure that all is well and that we're ready to go. Uh, so for those of you who are curious as to when the magazine is going to be available for purchase, it definitely will be available for purchase uh, by the time we are finished with this particular launch celebration web event slash podcast, okay? Uh, So we will be, it will be available by then. But I will share with you that uh, we had some special things that we intended to do tonight. I wanted to make sure I was able to do somewhat of a check-in to see all of who is here. Um, I think we might have more people listening by way of podcast than we do on the web version. Uh, So because uh, attendance may be just a tad bit lower than what I thought on the web version, we're probably going to hold out on the giving away of the ad. So we're going to hold out on that just a little while longer. We're probably going to do something a little bit different because we want to make sure that more and more people are aware of the opportunity and not just trying to get a freebie, but being present. Right, we want people to be physically present, physically available. So, Sandra, we thank you so much for sharing of your story. And everyone, feel free, of course, when available, to grab your copy of the magazine issue to learn more about Sandra's story, about how to speak up for a change. And a little snippet of it will be found on the Global TKO blog. That information will also be in the description area of the podcast. Uh, you may have seen that link also somewhere on the timeline so we will probably share a little bit of it uh, on facebook so make sure everyone that you get connected so thank you so much sandra for sharing you're welcome thank you everybody thanks for listening all right so yeah so we do implant we do plan and we do intend on soon of course we're still doing some celebrating so it's not over yet uh we intend to uh to give away Okay, to give away that ad, but we want to do it in a way that more people are present and they're excited about the opportunity. Now we get we did get quite a few people that said, Me, 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 I want to get, you know, the free ad, but we just don't want them to say, Hey, give me the free ad and that's it. Okay? It's not that easy. <laughs> All right. So you have to be able to do a little bit of work so that you'll be able to get the free ad. It's not that easy. But we want to say thank you. And we know that, of course, I think one of our other columnists is here on the platform. So I think Regina Mixon, Regina Mixon, I want to see if I can... Okay, so it looks like it says that Regina may not be able to come on. She has to switch to something. She has to switch to telephone, it says. I'm not sure, Regina, if you're able to unmute your line um, so that you'll be able to greet those who are here. It's really, really up to you because I can't see to unmute your line, so I can't do it. It says that you have to switch to, I think it says that you have to switch to telephone or something like that in order for you to be able to be unmuted, okay? 
Uh, now, we do appreciate those of you who are here for the launch. I do want to tell you that. Um, now, when it comes to speaking, Cassandra is a, is a speaker as well. She says she doesn't really sm- speak much, but she does speak out when it comes to overcoming and trying to, to really share her story of her background, where she's come from and where she's heading, because she has a lot of goals in mind. Okay, she has a goal of publishing her her book that soon will be coming out and available for the public. Uh, She has a goal of definitely impacting the lives of others who are going through maybe somewhat similar situation that she's going through right now. And and so you definitely want to tune in. Now, one thing I recognize when it comes to speaking, because I've been in the speaking industry for over 13 years now, uh, and it's important for you to start somewhere. Some people say, well, yeah, I want to get paid. I want to get paid to speak. But here's the thing. There's no such thing, as I posted on my timeline today, I said there's no such thing as free speaking. There's no such thing. The reason being is because when you're sowing value into the lives of other people, even if you're not getting a fee at the front door, there's always a reward at the end. And the reward could be transformation of lives. The reward could be testimonials. The reward can be recommendations from those in the audience. These are also great pieces to keep. Even if it's a video testimonial or a written testimonial, this is real estate for you when it comes to building your business. Don't take that lightly because it can help you to build your site, build your credibility, build your brand, and therefore display you as the go-to authority in your niche. So don't take those pieces, that, that feedback, lightly. It can help you grow your business. And then the other piece of that is, even if you don't get paid at the front door, you can always get paid from the back door, right? You can go to an event, and perhaps you might be given an opportunity to have a vending table with your products and with your services. You can also build your email list at a speaking event. You see, there are various ways to build and to grow, even if you may not see the dollars immediately. The investment is going to reap a harvest, but you cannot give up. You can't give up and you can't, you can't look at what seems to be the obvious. Most people want the obvious. They want the dollars up front, right? But it's just like a book. When you go and write a book, some people think that they're going to be millionaires by way of writing a book. Most people don't become millionaires just from writing a book. Most people allow the book to open the door. Maybe you didn't catch that. Let me, let me say that one more time. They allow their book, and some people allow their speaking to open the door. You see, your speaking, it's a massive way of marketing. A massive way of sharing your message with the world. Speakers are influencers and they're able to market their message in a huge way because you're able to share your message, okay? You're able to share this message with the entire big audience, whether it's a group of 15, whether it's a group of 100, or 1,000, 1,000. Either way, you're sharing it to more than one person. And it's always beneficial. And I tell people, if you don't, if you don't do anything when it comes to your free engagements, this is one tip I want to give you that I do not want you to miss. And I would recommend that you implement ASAP. And it's this tool here, this strategy. When you go to an event, I want you to make sure you have an evaluation tool that people can utilize. So I want you to have either an evaluation tool separate from the referral piece, or it can be combined. But either way, I want you to be able to ask them for feedback, and then at the same time, who else can benefit from the message? And ask them for a referral. Tell them, I mean, they can write down the name of an organization, even if they don't know the contact information, like a phone number yet, Ask them just to write down the name of the, the, the organization and the state in which the organization runs out of. 
You want that information so you can go back and follow up. Okay? And you can also follow up with maybe the person that arranged or organized the event. You can go back to them and talk to them and let and ask them, hey, could anyone else in your community area benefit from this same message? There you have it. You're building right there. Referrals right there. And every time you go to an event, you ask them about referrals and other opportunities in the community. So this is how you build, even if you're just starting out. And even some of the bigger speakers out there utilize the same strategy because they understand that with the speaking industry or really any industry, it's all about building relationships. And so we, we're grateful for Facebook that allowed, you know, relationships to build, allowed us to form. For example, I wouldn't have met Sandra if it wouldn't have been for Facebook. Okay. If it wasn't for Facebook, I wouldn't have known her and Regina Mixon, and, and maybe even Janine Harrod-Brown, who is on the podcast, and she's, she's really here plowing away and plugging in and supporting. If it wasn't for Facebook, I wouldn't have met these individuals. And now these ladies are doing amazing things. They're speakers. They're soon to be authors. Some of them are authors already. Okay, They're ambassadors within an amazing campaign that, that Sandra referenced which is the Born to Lead Global Women's Leadership Campaign. And yes, we do encourage you to learn more about the campaign. Now, we did share more information. I'm going to digress a little bit. We shared a little bit of information about the campaign in the magazine. And so we do encourage you to visit the website to learn more. Don't just stop at, you know, just looking at the link or looking at the ad in the magazine issue. We want you to visit the website so that you can learn more. And I'm quite sure my, my, I don't want to say my assistants, but that's what they're doing on the podcast platform. They're going to type it in for those of you who are listening on the podcast. But if you're watching this, okay, if you're watching this, I want you to visit the website www.leadershiptko4women.com. Now that website is a website that gives you more information about the entire overall campaign. Okay, It shares with you about all of the elements that are included in the campaign, such as the book, right? our events that we host, the TKO Global Reality Show, that normally happens on Thursdays at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But when we don't have an interviewee, we definitely have a, black, a backup plan, okay? And then we also have a virtual play, and we're going to tell you more about that as we draw closer and closer to an actual date uh, for that play, okay? So those are all of the elements involved in the Born to Lead campaign. And so we encourage you to visit the website to learn more about it. Again, that website is leadership tko for womencom Okay, for women.com. All right. So that's just a little bit of information I wanted to share about the campaign. And if you want to learn more about why you should become involved, I believe Sandra's story and how she she connected with the campaign for support and for growth, that should really explain it all. Okay? That should explain it all. She's gotten connected because of that and so many so many others. You know, such as Janine and Regina and everyone else who who definitely tune into the podcast and some of the other events we have going on, they see the reason, the benefit for connecting. And so when you go to the website, you may see some benefits for yourself. All right. So, again, that's just a little bit of that. We also shared tonight a little bit of nuggets, just a few, about the about being a pro speaker. Okay. And what does it mean to really build a speaking business? And then we're also going to share with you, I want to really see if I can get an opportunity to share my screen. So if I can share my screen, let me see if I can do this. Hold on a second, everyone that's watching. All right, so it says I might need an extension for that. Let me see if I can do it. Hold on a second, everyone. It says that... It says that it's trying to add the feature. Now, hopefully... All right, hopefully it doesn't mess us up here. So let's see. (laughs) 
All right, everybody. So right now you should be seeing my screen. <clears throat> All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you now what the cover of the magazine looks like. So here you go. <laughs> here you go, everybody. So let me see if I can uh, take this out separately. I want to be able to see what you're seeing right now. So hopefully I can. All right, so here you go, everybody. So this is what it looks like. Okay, here's what it looks like. Again, we had to make some adjustments today, so hopefully we're good with that. Okay, we're good, and this is what it looks like. You're going to be given the link pretty soon that you can go and visit. You see, when you go on there, this is what it's going to look like. And if you want to copy, you're going to hit that hard copy button here. So hopefully you see the button that's before you. You're going to hit that hard copy button. And you're going to follow the instructions so that you can grab your copy of the magazine issue. Okay? So that is what you're going to do. And this is what the cover of the fall 2017 issue looks like. So we're going to bring this back in here. I just wanted to share with you and give you an idea of what it looks like, everyone. Okay, so hopefully you were able to take a look. Was everybody ever to see that on the screen? I know some of you on the podcast, you couldn't see it because you're listening in. But if you're watching, were you able to see that? Go ahead and let me know if you were able to see that, okay? Please let me know if you were able to see that. Let me know right now if you are able to see that. And what we're going to begin to do is begin to wrap this up too because we don't want to be here extremely too long tonight. Uh, so hopefully you were able to. Okay, so yeah, we got confirmation that you were able to see it. Awesome. All right, everybody. So be sure you're connected to me on Facebook. I am going to forward the link for the magazine issue so that you can go ahead and purchase your copy. We're going to post it on the wall. We're going to post it in various other places, such as the community group for uh, the magazine itself. So stay tuned for that. Sandra, we thank you so much for gracing the cover of the magazine. We thank you for sharing your story columnist of the magazine we thank you so much for your contribution your expert knowledge right on helping leaders fall in love with serving we thank you so much and we thank you for serving uh, the readers by way of writing and being connected to this magazine we thank you for our special guest writer Rika Wright as she is this is the first time being published and being an author a part of this project so Rika Wright we thank you so much for being connected as well and everyone else, thank you so much. Lakeisha McKnight, the executive editor, is here. Thank you so much for listening in, everyone, on the podcast. We appreciate you. We love you. And we wish you well in the days, in the weeks, in the months to come, a part of 2017. Be blessed, everyone, and take care. Thanks for listening to the Leadership TKO Podcast. To continue the conversation of how to take your leadership from good to great, visit www.leadershiptko.com.